uh, high coach. Uh, after a short break, IS is coming back to track. And uh, after the break, your first match was against Mohammed Sporting, and you have won the match 2 1. So, what's your evaluation about that match, and uh, what is your preparation about the coming match against Bangalore FC? First of all, I'm, I'm really pleased with the, with the outcome of the game. Uh, it was a really, really important win. Um, first win away. Um, uh, we know that it's always a, all games have different kind of uh, phases and challenges. And um, uh, we came out uh, pretty slow, uh, but we stepped up and made some uh, tactical changes and also we made some good uh, substitutions. And uh, you know, so I'm also really glad that that guy, that guy next to me also played the 90 minutes and he he played really well. So. Uh, Really good outcome and really happy with the three pointer. Um, crucial for the, for the club. Uh, this upcoming game, completely different game. Uh, we are playing at home, uh, hopefully for a full stadium. Uh, lots of energy. Uh, and we are facing the, right now the number one on the table. So, completely different games, but um, uh, the similarities like that we have to win this game as well. So we are positive, we, we, we are training well for the moment, we have a great atmosphere, we have lots of options. So um, I'm uh, optimistic. Hi Gus. So Bangalore is standing to the top of the table. They haven't considered a goal and they are unbeaten in the league. And Kela Blasters has made seven points uh, from losing positions and uh, Kela Blasters has scored five goals through substitutions also. And you have also mentioned about the importance of ending 11 as much as first 11 also. So, uh, especially for an intense game like tomorrow against Bangalore FC, uh, what is your take on it? Uh, how important will it be? Um, we know that they're a good team. Uh, obviously, they have, haven't uh, considered a goal yet. Hopefully tomorrow. That's absolutely the, our target. Um, we um, we have to, to play a good game. Uh, we have to be energetic, but we also have to be smart. Uh, we need to attack fast, but we also have to possess the ball. So for me, that I'm not focused too much about the opponent right now. Is to to prepare our team, uh, prepare our players, uh, and so also we can find a playing style. Who also, what should I say? That players and the fans this is integrating, and also we can do it together. So we want to play a kind of football that also is energetic. So also the fans also can feel that uh, so that's the that's the that's the um, aim for every single home game actually uh, I coach and that's for the the socials uh, on the last match and uh, in fact uh, Blasters is entering the next stage uh, as uh, Bangalore is the strongest uh, team so far. So do you plan something special against them? You always, uh, first of all, you have your your principles in your team. Uh, then, you know, you use some kind of formations, uh, but you have your principles, you know, how do you want to approach football in general? Uh, we want to have play with, you know, the intensity to play a fast game, uh, a compact team. Uh, we want to show spirit. Then, for every single game, you have some specific game plan. And uh, so far, of course, you know, but there's like an 80% of principles on your own game, and then a little bit of around 10, 20% of like your adjust, uh, small adjustments to every single game. And having so far, and we'll be that in the future as well. So we face. Uh, them in the, in the quarter-final in the World Cup. They were better than us, but still it was a really even game. We lost in the dying seconds for, from, a, from, a, from a corner kick. Um, I think we are a way stronger team now than in the quarter-final in the World Cup. Um, it will be a hard game tomorrow. It's a hard home game for us, but it's a tricky away game for them as well. So um, let's see, but some kind of, some kind of adjustments and they, the op opposition will most likely have some uh, small adjustments as well. Normal. Um, hi, Luna. 
after a long time, uh, we could uh, see you uh, in the first alert. So, are you happy with the performance and uh, what's your plan for uh, tomorrow's match? Yeah, as you say, after a long time, I was able to play 90 minutes. Uh, I know I can do much better than that, but, you know, it's important for me to get minutes on my legs. But the important thing that we win the game, that's important for the team, of course. And I'm looking forward for this game. I know it's a different kind of game for us, and, uh, and I'm looking forward for it. I asked uh, Luna when it's around uh, 10 minutes left if he was tired and he wanted to change. And he said uh, things I can't say you, tell you here. Coach, uh, uh, coach, uh, the last match you had issues. The crowd behavior, there were there were problems. Like okay, uh, so the next this this next next match we've had, we are playing a club where we've had a lot of issues earlier. Like uh, uh, so, so what are your thoughts on that? Like for me, that's uh, I have to focus on my team for the moment. Uh, I think this is a rivalry. Uh, I expect that that uh, everyone uh, have a good uh, behavior. Uh, you want to focus on the, on, on the on the beautiful game uh, and the passion on the pitch. Uh, so that's my my comments. And how how settled is the team now, coach? You think the team is sort of settled down now, or uh, what, what? What what's uh, how, how's the team now? No, I think we are. I think that we have we're making progress for the moment. I think that every, I think hopefully all of you. Uh, See that we are, we are. I think that we are better and better for, for every single day. Uh, we, we face different kind of challenges in, the, in in every single game. We have been strong, but we also, unfortunately, we have we have come in, come in under a few a few games, but we bounce back in the games and and uh, it's, I mean that is also a strength for the team that we can handle setbacks. Uh, so the. Also, the game against Odisha, when you are, we scored two nil uh, quite early, and they equalised uh, before the the, the half time. Many teams like um, losing the the their minds and let the game slip away. But we went bounce back, and we were closer to win that game than lo than lose it, right? Against a good uh, Odisha away. So I think we are a strong team. Uh, team that you know we work together uh, we are highlighting it every day that we, we need to practice well uh, we, are, we can't just uh, run around and just wait for the for the games uh, the starting lineup and the ending lineup is really crucial for us that means that that everyone is like on toes and must be ready to to, uh, to participate and, and bring the energy to the to the to the club Hi coach, hi Luna. Uh, so, you know, as you know, the Kalur is also called the JLN Stadium and it just so happens that uh, in football you have your MSNs and you have your BBCs, you know, attacking trios, but uh, we have our very own JLN as well in uh, Jimenez, Luna and Noah. So coach and Luna, can you just tell me how do you three players complement each other's playing styles and uh, Coach, how do you see that chemistry building, you know, as they play more and more together? I'll let uh, number 10 answer. <laughs> I think, uh, of course, we are three good players. We need more time to play together. But so far, Noah is doing fantastic. fantastic. Jesus is doing fantastic. I play 90 minutes after a long time. I need to catch them up. And I think we are going to be really good. Uh, throughout the season, but uh, it's not about three players, man. It's about the team, it's about everybody wanted the same thing, fighting for the club, fighting for our fans. Uh, I, I don't like when people start to speak about uh, individuals because this is a sport team, so you need every single player to, to, know, to, to, win, to win games, to, win the, um, to be there on top, and I think all all my teammates, not only Noah, not only Jesus, everybody is doing a fantastic job because the only thing that the people see is the games, but we have trainings and in every single training we are doing a fantastic job and this is very important for him, for us and, uh, and I think this is, in a team sport, it's the most important thing. 
that's a fantastic word for, from a captain, actually. That's, uh, and that's, that's the reality. And uh, for me, that of course, we, uh, we can talk about uh, players with special qualities, but we also have, you know, we have three, four years more, and we also have local players with lots of qualities. So it's, for me, like, it's a teamwork. And then, of course, fans always like wants to, you know, like highlight some players and they have good chemistry and stuff like that. And that's not that's normal. But the the word of team is, is really important to highlight. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Luna. All the best. Thank you. Hey, Luna. Uh, so you know how important this game is for the club, the players, all the stakeholders involved. So, uh, what is the mood in the camp right now? Uh, will it be a special game for you or you are taking it game, uh, just as a game in the league? For everybody it's a special game, not only for me, not only for the club. For everybody, the fans, the club, ourselves, this is important that we win this game. We know what it means for, for our people. Uh, we, everybody knows what happened in the past. That's the past, we have to move on, we already move on. But for us, it's, you know, it's important to win. And if we win and we will win this game, we will be there uh, two points away from the first position. And this is our aim, to be there on top. So we must win this game and, uh, you know, and be there on top for us will be really, really good. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, how do you evaluate the Blasters' defense lineup without a foreign player? Are you fully confident with the four of Indian defenders in a lineup? One more time. How you evaluate your uh, confidence in the Blasters' defense lineup without a foreign player? The fully Indian defense lineup. Are you confident in Indian fully lineup? I think we're confident. I think we have, we have, we have good options. And for me, like in in like a coach, you always face different kind of challenges all, all the time. You right? you know, so you have some small injuries or you know, like some uh, setbacks, and or you have some uh, great performances. You have less less uh, uh, quality in some games but that's normal but I think like we are we are we are confident and I think that we are finding uh, what should I say we are we are creating a better chemistry every single day um, I think also that uh, after the break uh, we, pra we practice really well uh, during the break and uh, we are f fresher today uh, and we have more options today than uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, what is the uh, team's fitness update? Is there any injury concern? Anything so? You always uh, have some uh, small question marks, uh, and that's uh, that's normal in the game of football. So, like you used to say, that the ten percent of the group is always a question mark, right? So, I mean that. Uh, so also that for us, but you know, like that's normal. And then if someone can't play, I have other options and then, you know, I can give them the chance to play. They have some really good young players as well. So, but I can guarantee that, guarantee you that tomorrow at 7.30, uh, we will have a good lineup and we will also have a good options for the, for the ending lineup as well. I promise you that. Hi, I have uh, two questions, one for Coach and one for Luna. Uh, first of all, uh, I think uh, we are not good with uh, Bangalore FC uh, from the uh, stats of head to head, but I wish tomorrow is our day. Uh, what is the specific tactical approach we are going to take against uh, Bangalore FC tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow we will do like first. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell you the tactics now. I will be, and I'm, I'm ugly, but I'm not stupid, right? So, uh, of course, we will have some tactics tomorrow, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, next for Luna, uh, you have been uh, in ISL for uh, a while now. Uh, what do you think of Indian football except you as a player? I always say the same thing. When I arrived here, I thought that it's going to be much easier than, than it is. The organization, the pitches, the stadiums, the fans, uh, everything surprised me in a good way. I'm uh, happy that I made the decision to come to India. Of course, you have a lot to grow up. You have a lot to, you know, to to be better. But I think you are in the in the in the good way. But um, you know, uh, it's important for for the Indian football that the league start to grow. Maybe a little bit more teams, 
maybe involve more young players, but this is another story, it's not my, my job. But uh, so far, so good for me in India. I'm happy here and I, I'm glad that, that I made the decision to come here.